Pakistan president was given a tour of the aviation industry corporation of China and briefed on China's J10C and J25 generation fighter jets and unmanned systems. Pakistan Prime Minister and the Field Marshal will meet US President Donald Trump on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly on 25th September. Tata Sons chairman visited Solar Industries Defense Facility, and he added that Tata Group is open to collaborations to solve the defense needs of the country. Indian Army's Eastern Command troops have successfully completed a six-day long-range patrol with full battle loads in high-altitude and rugged terrain areas along the India-China border. An anti-submarine warfare corvette of Indian Navy has arrived in Fiji for a three-day goodwill visit. The Aeronautical Development Agency has launched a model-based systems engineering program for the AMCA, shifting from document-driven to fully digital design. India has issued an OTAM warning for a missile test in the Bay of Bengal for a period between 24th to 25th September with a designated range of 1,430 km, that points to possible second test of the Mach 10 speed 1,500 km range TRDO's hypersonic long-range anti-ship missile. Rajasthan-based startup Vimana has launched the Nursim Ha vertical takeoff and landing tailsitter unmanned aerial vehicle. The Indian Navy has backed the RDO's upcoming jet-powered hail UAV for 24-hour surveillance and anti-submarine missions in the Indian Ocean, that will complement MQ-9 BNP-8I aircraft. The DRDO is developing a multifunctional conductive fabric, to shield Indian soldiers from thermal infrared and electromagnetic surveillance in high-altitude battlefields. The Indian Army is procuring 60,000 thermal imaging sites and 200,000 day sites to upgrade infantry and vehicle optics. The Indian Air Force has adopted AI-driven simulation technologies for pilot training, that deliver hyper-realistic combat environments like BVR combat electronic warfare in multi-domain operations, and will also save 700 crore rupees annually. In a big development, Russia has urged India to expand discussions from 60 Su-57 aircraft to 126 aircraft, potentially replacing much of the planned Rafale acquisition under the MRFA tender. Russian officials have aggressively pitched its Su-57E fighter jets as a superior alternative to the French Rafale F-4, promising local production with full source code access, deep technology transfer, seamless integration of indigenous weapons, along with export rights of the Su-57, something that France has been reluctant to provide despite India's order of 36 Rafale F-3R and 26 Rafale Marine fighters. Russian officials have said, that the $80 million Su-57 is more stealthy than the $120 million Rafale aircraft, features internal weapons base and super maneuverability, while avoiding the long-term ecosystem lock-ins and paid upgrade dependencies associated with the French Rafale offer that includes only 60% localization. Hal Chief has said, that the Astra Mark 1 missile was test-fired from the Tejas Mark 1A in March 2025 but it was unsuccessful. While integration of the missile with the fighter is complete, software issues in Astra Mark 1 identified by the RDO are being reviewed by the Safety Board of Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification. Astra Mark 1 trials from Tejas Mark 1A will be conducted once the fixes are cleared, but the Tejas Mark 1A has started broader weapon trials campaign with advanced short-range air-to-air missile, hammer and smart anti-airfield weapon. Today's top 3 comments.